Hey everyone, Dave Fricky here. Been a while since I made a video. Been kind of a little busy with a couple projects, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but have you all heard about this separation crisis that's going on with the children? I mean, where kids are being ripped from their parents by the United States government? Where the kids are, are, are traumatized beyond belief. Sometimes you, you, you have no idea and wouldn't believe the trauma. The screaming and crying for their parents. They don't know when they'll ever see them again, nor where they are. I mean, sometimes they're alone and even the government doesn't even know where the parents are. They find them just walking down the road, alone. Maybe a victim of human trafficking or drug trafficking. They're also putting them in foster homes throughout the United States. You hear about how these kids are clinging to photos of their parents, not knowing when or if they'd ever see their parents again. Parents that maybe haven't committed a crime or what most wouldn't consider a crime. These kids are sometimes kept in awful conditions where the government is just in no hurry to reunite them with their parents. And sometimes the government can't find the parents or they lose the child. If they do know where the parents are, they're only allowed two hours a week to see them or talk to them. Some don't even get to have contact. The kids have nothing, no clothes, no toothbrush, no soap, no teddy bear, no books, no blanket. This horrible. This must stop. I mean, why won't somebody do something about this? But you know, I'm not talking about the immigration crisis at the border talking about the United States foster care system. Yep. The exact same thing you're claiming is happening at the border. The same thing that you're suddenly outraged about and it's happening right in your backyard. And yeah, I'm outraged also. I'm outraged with both. But my issue with all of this is it's been happening for decades. Children are separated at the border, but now everyone points to Trump to fix it. Everyone blames Trump. And you know, shut up with the babies in jail. There is no baby jail. No baby jail, trust me. But why is no one outraged about the foster care system that's been around forever? Did you know, any given day, there are 428,000 kids in foster care and you're ripping the country apart over 2,500 or 11,500 kids in total. And most of them, the large majority of them came over unaccompanied. There are no parents. But the ones that came over unaccompanied, yes, no parents, no guardian. I mean, they're, they're putting four-year-olds on a train by themselves. They're giving 12-year-olds birth control because they know they'll be raped on the way. Citizens are not. They should be reunited if the circumstances or parents are there, but not if they've committed a crime. Just the same as any U.S. citizen, mom that commits a crime and goes to jail, the kids are put in foster care. But you don't care about that because it's called selective outrage and they call people like that hypocrites. But then the question is, what are you doing about it? Are you opening up your home to these immigrants? Nope. Are you sending money to their parents? Nope. You're probably posting on Facebook how horrible Republicans are for supporting Trump because it's all his fault. And if we support Trump, we must be horrible people that just don't care about the children. Well, you know what? I remain pretty quiet lately on political issues, but I'm a conservative Republican and I care. I am a foster parent. Not only a foster parent, I developed an entire nonprofit foundation around foster kids where we started collecting clothing one day. And now it's a full blown retail store open to the public where all the profits will benefit education for foster kids. And the coolest part about the store is the foster kids get to shop for free. They get to choose their own clothing. And I'm empowering these foster kids in a time in their life where they have no control. You know, you get Chuck Schumer and Jim Acosta going on air saying the government won't tell us where the kids are. They, 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 we keep asking and they won't tell us where these children are. Well, no kidding. It's called privacy, you idiot. We don't even know where some of the kids are. They can't tell us. So stop tearing the country apart. Stop worrying about what the media tells you to worry about. 
look in your backyard. You want to focus on children and you want to help children? Start with the foster care system. Our foundation is myfosterkids.org. It's www.myfosterkids.org. Take a look at it. It's a way you can help. Anyway, again, I'm Dave Fricky, and y'all take care.